In this video, I am going to show you how to create a form using Google Forms. Google Forms is a free online survey tool that you can use to create any kind of form for your business, research works like questionnaires, and many more. With Google Forms, you can create forms like contact form, party invite form, t-shirt sign up, customer feedback forms, and many more. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple form using Google Forms and I will specifically show you how to create a contact form using Google Forms coming up. So to create a form in Google Forms, I go over to my browser and I enter forms.google.com. Hit enter. If you have not already signed into your Gmail account, you need to do that before you can have access to these forms. So you can create your Google Form from scratch. You can choose from a template and if you need more templates you can go over to template gallery and in here you have so many forms templates you can create personal forms like contact information t-shirt sign up or event registration you can even go ahead and create a job application forms using google forms but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a simple contact form and i'm going to go ahead and use contact information right here so i click on it and this is how our form will look like you can go ahead and customize it the way you want but before i start changing the fields i want to customize my header as well as my colors to do that i go over to customize team then in here under header you can choose an image for your header like we are seeing here so i go ahead and click on image uploaded from here i can choose any image under these teams currently we are seeing work and school you can also go ahead and upload your own image by browsing or you go to an existing photos you have already uploaded to google forms so for this tutorial i'm going to go ahead to teams and i'll choose any of these images so i'll go ahead and choose this and i click on insert the image is inserted and the team color you can go ahead and change whatever color you want you can click on the plus icon to choose any color of your choice awesome then you go ahead and click on add to have your color in there perfect you can also choose some background colors i'll select this perfect or that i'll go ahead and use this then in here you can give your form a name it is using contact information i can say contact us and then form description i enter get in touch with us So the user will have to enter their name email address phone number and comments let's assume we don't need address so what i can do is i just click on it then i click on this delete icon right here to take it off next is phone number and when you click on phone number you see that it is not required but we want our users to fill in their phone numbers so toggle on required and then comments instead of comments i'll change the title to message awesome now up here we can click on preview to have a look of our form perfect now let's take our form further by adding our services so that our users can choose from whatever service they want so i'll exit from here so next i go ahead and click on this plus icon that is add question and a new field will be inserted take note the default option is multiple choice but i don't need multiple choice so I drop down the arrow and I'm going to go ahead and use drop down so that my user will have to drop down and choose from a list. So the title I enter services. Then option one, I go ahead and enter website design. Option two, I enter digital marketing. And finally, content writing. So these are the three services I offer. I'll go ahead and make it a required and I don't need it down here. So I'll hold here and drag it on top of message. Perfect. Now let's take a look. Awesome. So users can go ahead and drop down this arrow and choose from this list. I exit from here. Next, I go over to settings. And since we are not making a quiz, I'm not going to talk about quizzes. I go over to responses and I drop down the arrow. Now in here, do you want to collect email addresses of your clients? If you want to do that, then you go ahead and toggle this on. 
and then send responders a copy of their response from here you can go ahead and choose when requested or always so depending upon what you want you can also allow users to edit the content of their responses by toggling this on and you can also go ahead and limit your responses to one but i'll not advise you to do this because your clients may want to send you messages over and over again i just want to show you all the possibilities so in this tutorial i'm not going to collect emails so i toggle this off going down you can also go ahead and set up some default settings so under form default you can just toggle on collect email addresses by default and also go ahead and mark all your questions as required but i'm not going to do this and i will also toggle on collect email addresses by default so that's it my form is done and you can go ahead and send it to your clients so in here you can send to your clients by specifying their emails right here and also go ahead and include the form in the email you can also send the link to this form by clicking on link icon right here and you can go ahead and grab this link by clicking on copy you can also go ahead and shorten your url so that you get a short link of your google form or you can go ahead and embed this on your website so whichever way you want you can go ahead and do that but for this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and use the link now use the short form i'll go ahead and copy then i can send the link to my clients for them to get in touch with me so let's go ahead and test out our form i'll open it up in a different browser and i need to sign in in order to fill this form so i'll just choose this email so this is how our form will look like so i'll just go ahead and fill it up and i'll go ahead and choose the service so i choose digital marketing then i go ahead and add my message then i go ahead and click on submit thanks for submitting your contact info now if i go back to my form and the responses you see that i have one i click on it and this is a summary of what i've received from the user i can go ahead and view this in a spreadsheet i click on create and this will open in a new tab and right here i have all the information that client has filled the form with awesome so anytime a new client fills my contact form this information right here will be updated so that's it on how to create a form using google forms i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one